Until now, you have learned the present tense of nouns using be verbs such as yeyo and ieyo. But the three lessons from today will cover how to conjugate general verbs to make a present tense. I think it's the most important and basic part of learning Korean. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. If you think about English present tense, there are two variants of general verbs. One is infinitive form. The other is third person singular form. I mean, verbs are conjugated depending on how they are being used in a sentence. Unlike English, however, in Korean, there is no difference according to the subject or singular and plural. It's made under completely different conditions. In Korean, to make the present tense, there are three types of verb endings, such as ayo, oyo, heyo. Today, let's learn about the first type of endings, ayo. These are Korean verbs, gada, to go, mokda, to eat, boda, to see. Did you find anything in common? Korean verbs will always end with ta. However, when making sentences, you cannot use this basic form. If you substitute this grammar point into English, it will be easy to understand. To go is an infinitive form, so I to go is wrong sentence. You should remove to and make the sentence I go. Likewise, in Korean, the ending ta should always be removed when conjugating a verb. Let me explain with an example. 알다 means to know in English. To make the present tense, we just need the stem 알. So let's remove the ending 다. Now think about it. What ending goes well with the stem 알? You can choose either 아요 or 어요. Yes, the first 아요 is good. Why? Look at the mountain. I hope this image reminds you the video number 4 of alphabet section. When the sun rises in the east, the world becomes brighter. So the vowel A ah makes a very bright sound. The Korean alphabet is a phonetic characters, so the harmony of sound is very important. The vowel A ah of Al and a ah of ayo are both bright vowels, so they fit well. The final form will become al a yo, arayo. Did you catch the difference of pronunciation? According to the linking rule, final consonant lu will be carried over to the next syllable. So we should read it arayo. 알아요. To know 알다 will become I know 알아요. Let's practice more with another verb. 받다 is to receive. Let's follow the steps. First step, remove 다. Second step, choose 아요. Simple, right? Could you tell me the reason? Yes, it's because 받 has a bright vowel a, ah. so the final form will become pat ayo. Be careful the pronunciation, padayo, padayo. Okay, let me check the process. In short, step one, remove da. Step two, choose either ayo or oyo. Ah. I forgot the third type, heyo. Since heyo is selected under different conditions, I will not mention it here. Let's talk about it in the third lesson. Shall we start again? Gada means to go. 
Now think of the process. First step, remove da. Second step, choose ayo. So it will be ga ayo. Good job. But this is not the final form. I'm so sorry. The problem is there are two a. However, due to the nature of language, people will want to make a short and simple forms. Make sure don't touch the verb stem ga. So let's remove the second a. Then it becomes kayo. I go. 저는 가요. Here you have a question, right? Why does 알아요 and 받아요 maintain the final form while 가아요 is abbreviated as 가요? The reason is very simple. This is because 알아요, 받아요 has the final consonants 르 and 드. That can separate the two a and a. Let me give you another verb. Can you make the present tense of 끝나다? It means to finish or to end. Okay, first, remove 다. Second, which is correct? 아요 or 어요? Look at the stem. There are two letters, 끝나. Good has a dark vowel, u. Na has a bright vowel, a. Don't hesitate. Choose always the last vowel. So the ending, ayo, is the correct one. Good na, ayo. And let's delete a because there are double a and a. So the final form will become 끝나요. 끝나요. Do you remember another bright vowel? Yes, it's O. Look at the sun. When the sun rises from the sea, the world gets brighter. So the vowel O makes a very bright sound. To play with the friends, or to hang out is 놀다. Shall we start the process? First, remove 다 and the stem 놀 has a bright vowel O. So, attach 아요. The final form will become 놀 아요. 놀 아요. Now it's your turn. To rise is 솟다. Okay, remove 다 and attach 아요. The final form will become 솟 아요 소사요. Good job. Now let's check the last variant. 오다 means to come. Shall we follow the process? First, remove 다. Second, attach 아요. It will be O ayo. Do you think O ayo is the final form? No. O and A are not the same vowel, but they can combine and make a diphthong wa. And also, there is no any consonant that prevents the combination of these two vowels. So the final form will become. Wayo. Now it's your turn again. Boda means to see. Can you make the final form? Remove ta and attach ayo and combine o and a. The final form will become bayo. Bayo. Okay, let's summarize. The process to make the present tense of verbs. First step, remove 다. Second step, choose either 아요 or 어요. When the verb stem ends in 아 or 오, 
the ending IO is attached. And also remember how to create the variance. Number one, when the last vowel A in the verb stem meets the ending IO without a final consonant, A of IO is deleted. Number two, when the last vowel O in the verb stem meets the ending IO, they are combined into a diphthong. Wow. Here are a few more verbs you can practice on your own to build the confidence. So, did you enjoy this video? Thank you for watching. And remember, season 1 titled Present Tense of Verbs has started. And the next video is episode 2.